how do you cope with failure when you have so much experience in success, right? But there's always failure in success. How yeah. do you cope with it? So uh, our route uh, in the everyday life uh, is uh, disseminated of mm. failures. Uh, I would like to be remembered not for the things I've done, mm -hmm. uh, but for the things I left to the people I work with. Uh, work is not uh, the only thing in life. Well, so yes. Of course, we are talking about uh, work things, uh, but uh, in the end of the day, there are a lot of failures. Uh. Welcome back, everyone, to Walk and Talk on Onco Daily. My name is Tatia Margarian. I'm your host, as always. And today we have Dr. Filippo as our guest. Dr. Filippo, can you introduce yourself? Hi, everyone. My name is Filippo Pietrantonio. I'm a GI medical oncologist uh, in Milan, in Italy. Okay, perfect. Dr. Filippo, we're going to take a walk and I'm going to ask you a couple of personal, some quirky questions. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Yeah. Let's start. Okay, so I do know that you are a very passionate professor in your career and you do love what you do, but if you could switch professions and do something Ooh, else. Difficult yes. question. <laughs> wow. If you could switch. Well, what would you become? What would you choose? When I was attending the secondary school, actually, my professors uh, told me that I was perfect for philosophy. Wow! So it was uh, like a bit hard and challenging to decide at the beginning, but at the end, my choice was medicine. Medicine won. Uh, it won. Yeah, I think yes. I'm so <laughs> good with this choice. Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. So we Even could... though I wanted to st start again and study philosophy ah. in my second life, let's say. <laughs> <laughs> we could have had a philosopher, but we had a doctor. It's important in medicine, I think. It is, absolutely it is. Okay, I have another question. Um, who do you call first when you have news or something to share? Who is the go-to person? So basically, my friends, uh, my family. So when I got news, uh, it's it's good to share with the people you love. So basically, my family, my colleagues, my friends. Uh, so no specific person. Uh, you mean uh, one specific person? I mean the first one. The first one. Yeah. Okay. So the first one is my sister. Ah. Uh. Yeah. But there, I don't want to say that I prefer my sister to my mother, <laughs> so I will say both. <laughs> so that okay. I, no, none of them is a disappointment. Okay, let's go with both then. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, are you a stay-at-home person or do you like to go out a lot? No, usually I go out. You do? Uh, yeah, usually when I am really tired because, uh, you know, our work uh, sometimes is uh, really exhausting. Tiring, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes we prefer to stay at home and just relax, uh, have your cup of tea, watch movies, mm -hmm. uh, like normal things that every one of us uh, normally yeah, do. do. <laughs> yeah, uh, but usually I like to go out. So Especially I... when you live in Milan, <laughs> lots of stuff to do out, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I really love to go out, uh, restaurants, uh, cinema. I love cinema. So I basically go Two to, two to three times a week. Oh, wow. Yeah, I love it. Uh, theater, there are a lot of things Lots to do in Milan. Do. <laughs> if you're going to come to Milan and visit me, uh, it will be fun. Oh, there I will let you know. Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. Now, would you change um, the way that you are doing things now? life-wise or profession-wise, if you could change something in your life, what yeah, would it be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I would like to change something and I did it. So, yeah. I'm changing house. <laughs> You're changing your house? Yeah, exactly. Oh. I sold the old one uh, just uh, the day I fly here in Chicago. So, uh -huh. it was a really busy day because uh, I had you to fly, sell the house in the morning and, uh, and then I flew here <laughs> the same day. So this is uh, something that I really wanted to do. Uh, oh, congratulations! Did, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So uh, you, we're just doing the renovations uh, in the new one. Uh -huh. um, 
the work is not ready so it will be probably in september so this was a big achievement for me because it's the uh, like uh, the the dream you have uh, the perfect place to be i'm so glad you did that then. <laughs> yeah 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 uh for the summer time uh, i will stay <laughs> in my friends are housed in the countryside so it will be fun Aww. they will ask me because uh, they will know. ask you <laughs> <laughs> but yes it will be fun it will be fun i hope you do have fun in there yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay i got another question how do you cope with failure when you have so much experience in success right but there's always Failure and success. How yeah. do you cope with it? So uh, our uh, route uh, in the everyday life uh, is uh, disseminated of mm. failures. Uh, so basically, sometimes uh, when you do our work, uh, and uh, for example, you do clinical, you lead clinical trials, so you present the data, the conferences. Uh, yes, it's true. It, it may seem that uh, you have big achievements. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, uh, work is not uh, the only thing in life. Well, so, yes. of course, we are talking about uh, work things. Uh, but uh, in the end of the day, there are a lot of failures. Uh, uh, and you basically learn uh, how to really uh, cope with this. Uh, and it's an important thing because uh, mm -hmm. you become a better person. So you, you really learn how to deal with it. Uh, how to be stronger, to do better things uh -huh. uh, later on. Uh, you learn a lot. So in my opinion, uh, this is absolutely necessary. How could we be the person we are now without failure? Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's a path, right? Yeah, Where there it's is a success, path. there is failure. And where it's failure, <laughs> there is success. <laughs> exactly. Okay. And sometimes it may be uh, that you achieve good things, uh, some uh, other times uh, mm -hmm. not, uh, and this is life. It is life, yeah. yeah. That's how it works, I guess. <laughs> yeah, okay. it's true. Um, what aspects of your personality are you most proud of? What do you like about it? Uh, well, uh, let's say uh, I'm a very, um, let's say uh, passionate uh, as you say at oh. the beginning person so <laughs> i like uh, uh, friendship uh, i like laughing i like uh, sometimes uh, it's not superficial but light being light in life so ah. uh, this is something uh, really important to me so mm -hmm. not taking too much the things too seriously oh. you know uh, and just uh, accepting what it comes uh, with mm. a good uh, attitude, you know. Yes, absolutely. Is, yeah, I think uh, I'm uh, good. I'm good at doing this. <laughs> uh, is this an Italian thing? Uh, I don't think it is Italian. It's uh... because you have dolce far niente, right? <laughs> Did I say it right? <laughs> it's, it's right, dolce far niente. Well, uh, in Italy we know how to enjoy life, but I think it, you it, uh, sure do. Yeah, but uh, it's not just an Italian thing. I think it, that is uh, more a personal thing. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. true. Okay. Um, another question is, how do you want to be remembered? Well, uh, so if we think about work, uh, um, I really think that uh, uh, I would like to be remembered not for the things I've done, mm -hmm. uh, but for the things I left to the people I work with. So if I was able to uh, be um, like uh, a sort of mentor for them, uh, uh, helping them uh, in the everyday life, uh, giving good advices, uh, being a person um, who really can they can rely on this is something that you will be remembered uh, in the, the best way mm -hmm. so not for the achievements in the work uh, but for what you did for the other people so for the people i work with uh, i hope they will remember me for this much more than for uh, the studies mm -hmm. the trials uh, <laughs> 
the presentations, the hard work we do. So it's more but, human interaction. Yeah, 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 yeah. And when you leave a workplace, uh, maybe it will happen to me in the next future. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But uh, I would love them to remember me for this much more than other things. Oh, that's, I think that's too deep. But I do feel what you're saying and I do agree with you. I think every single doctor would agree with you because as much as you do on the research for the science, you are helping people. Yeah. Human and lives. also your colleagues, uh, you're, you're helping the whole team. Mm -hmm. uh, you know that uh, alone you can, you can go much. Yeah, you can't far. do much. Yeah. That's true. So it's a work team and everyone in the team should be acknowledged for the work they mm -hmm. do. And uh, it's everyone really important. should be appreciated. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And uh, so I think that this is the things that really matters in life, also in the work life. Mm -hmm. That's true. Thank you so much for this answer and thank, thank you. you so much for accepting our in invitation <laughs> and it was it all for today's walk and talk thank you so much for watching do stay tuned for future walk and talks it was Tate Markarian and Dr. Filippo with you bye 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 don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube hit the bell icon to stay updated